the clicker is here. See, I have the clicker like this. Okay, so I'm going to put a little scent on the dumbbell. I just want them heading toward the... the go ahead. He did that. So yeah. he already has... He's got that. Mm -hmm. See, he has to pull away from the food. The food is in one hand. Okay, that part I don't think I... Yeah. So that was a twofer. I was no longer going to click what? One shoddy, because I already know he has part of it. I'm going to only click a twofer, because twofers will get you biting it. See, the second one, they're, they, they're, there's more frustration in it. See the bite that happens on twofers? Mm -hmm. So he's going to start biting it on the first one. Probably. Oh, I got it. Mm, nom, 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 nom. See, he started biting it on the first one. Okay. That's why once you got location, you then go to what? You up the criteria. There. You see on the that second one what he does? <laughs> there you go. Good dog. And I'm going to move it around. Daddy, what? Can get it from. Look at the ankles. Mm -hmm. Look what I'm doing. Oh got to take it from, and you did this right there. A little, yeah. yeah, I've done most of that part of it. I just never do it sitting with the, with the cookies, I think. So, so there you go. The, the food is also a distraction. Right. He's being good, but a lot of dogs, would be go diving on the, them, on the table. Pushing the cookie, okay. right. And sometimes having the food available for viewing like this really does <laughs> speed up the process mm. because that's all he's thinking about. But you never tell him to do anything. You just let him figure it out, right? I don't give a name to a okay. behavior until I'm positive. He knows what I want. Okay. Right? So I have it from different angles. He had to help. I had to little, help. A little bit of a turn. So this is like a week you go and do this. Now we know the dog has what? A very healthy relationship with the dumbbell in his mouth. From this point now, clicker gets put away. Okay. I begin my half to hold. And I put two fingers in the collar, like the nose bridge. You know like the nose bridge? Yep. The two middle fingers in the collar. And I bring the collar up. Buckle collar, I prefer. You can use a martingale. Can't use any prongs or anything. Don't do that. That's that. Because you're putting fingers in the collar. Okay? I'm going to take this. I'm going to open his mouth. Hold it. Hold, push, push out, and then we're going to give him a cookie. Oh my God, look how reluctant he's taking the cookie. That yeah. tells me, dog, when you take control of him, he kind of goes defensive. Yeah. I'm not telling anything you know. Other dogs, the minute it's gone, they're back on the table and you're hitting them with the food. Right. Hey, hey, you got to wait. I get it. The minute I did this, he went, gets a little defensive. Right. He liked control. it when it was kind of his yes. idea. Correct. So, Two fingers on the collar. I'm bringing the collar up. And these two fingers are on the outside. I open it up. Hold it. Good hold. 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 Out. Oh my God, that was so clever. That was much better. Oh my God, that was so better. So I need to make my praise a little bit more. Um. <laughs> Do not Perfect videotape example. that. <laughs> Edit that out. But that's so Ruby. <laughs> it's so Ruby. It's so Ruby. you wanted of the dog trying to eat the cookie. Right, right. All about the cookie. Okay. Two fingers in. I open right here like this. It's right behind the canines. My finger holds up. Hold it. Hold. Good hold. Good hold. Out. So I don't do much of, we don't do very much of this whole four week force fetch right basically there is a smidgen of a force fetch on week week four or five once we get in